And a black Gemara, today's daf is daf of base. And we were learning about the laws of competition, and we said that only locals, uh, you know, can 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 do things in the so town, kind of people coming in from other places. So now the Gemara says, uh, in the only time that you can come into a town is if it's a market day, and people coming from over, from far away places, you can sell. Machlek, you have to sell only to people who came over from far away places, or just... Uh, you can talk to anybody once you're there already. And then we said that um, <clears throat> you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to, um, uh, what do you call the peddlers you can come into the town as well, but they, they, they can only door knock, they cannot set up shop. Except That's if you're a town of, uh, well, some say about the kind of that, um, uh, what do you call it, you have competition in schools That's next to each other. And then we said Tama Chacham is different, that he can even set up shop. Agrava allowed Rabbi Yisha and Rabbi Vadya to set up shop, not to pay a local because they have to learn Tegel. Says the Gemara story now, Hanu, about 10 lines on top of the page, Chobez Amrala. Hanu di Kuloi, they were these people who made baskets, the ice of the Bubble, they brought their baskets to Bubble to sell. Also, but they must have come out really. Came along the local and said, hey, you can't come into town from somewhere else and bring your goods and try to sell them here. Also, the Kamen Ravina, much for Ravina. Amulu, he said, Ma'alma Osu, that, um, that today is a market day. He said, there's a course of market day, even though they come from outside of the city. A lot of people, buyers, come from outside of the city as well. So therefore, you cannot stop him from selling um, to all those in the marketplace. Well, the Alma Lazavna, they're selling, whether, whether strictly the Alma Lazavna, only to people from outside the city, it means generally selling to everybody. Inclusive. Only a market day. Not a market day. Lawyers have no right to come into a city bringing their wares to try to sell because they're competing with the locals and they have the foreigners have no rights there. Even a market day, we don't sell this good sugar to sell at the market itself. Abladude to go door knocking. That no. Um, that no. Hanu Amaroi were those who were selling wool. The ice Amar Pumnara they brought their wool to the city of Pumnara. Also, Bnei Moshe Kamak for Layu the locals came. And uh, tried to stop them from selling their wares. Also, Kamala came in Kana, Amalu, Dinu, who the Ma'akfa life from Kana said, Yep, the people, the locals have the right to stop you from uh, buying in the city. Omnulay, they said, Eastlon Ashroi, we have sold uh, items to members of this city, to citizens of this city for uh, on credit. And now we're coming to collect. Uh, and while we're coming to collect, we need to live. You can sell only what you need to live. Until you get paid all of these outstanding loans that people owe you. And then you leave. Machlik is exactly what it means. It means every single day you only sell what you need because you don't know how long it'll take you. Or you can sell uh, not to make profit, but enough to live comfortably. You don't have to sit and worry every minute. Where am I going to you know, How am I going to eat tomorrow? Rav, now this is a very sad story. Rav Dimi Minahadoi, Rav Dimi from the Doi, I see Gregor's Besvina. He brought dried figs on a ship to sell in a city that he didn't live in. Omelet is Jerusalem, Rava, the Jerusalem said to Rava, Puk Chazi, go out and see. Eat Trubin Mirabbono, if he's a Tamachacham, then the Kaitle Shaykh, the Shukh, give him the market day. The din is that the Tamachacham coming to sell, everyone else has to stop selling their, their items so that the Tamachacham can sell and then move on. Why is that? Big Machlekes and Paskim, is it because of the Rashaynim? Is it because Kovat Hatayda? That is because Kovat Hatayda should let him sell his items first, his merchandise first? Or is it because he's taking away his time from learning? My Nafkimin, a lot of Nafkimin. Nafkimin in the morning is. What happens if he's Moichel? If this time of says, I'm Moichel, don't worry about it, everyone can sell as well. If it's covered at Taita, then, then he can be Moichel. But if it's not covered at Taita, if it's because uh, he's not going to learn Taita, how can he be Moichel not learning Taita? Another after may be, what about if you're learning Taita, but you're not Tama Chacham? You know, you need certain qualities to be Tama Chacham, including the Gemara Chulun, which I have none of those qualities, that you have to know how to be a Sheikh and a Sheikh and all those things, uh, to be a Tama Chacham. Tamachach should know these things. You don't have any of these qualities. You just you're just learning. Is that a ground that you should uh, that he should be able to sell his merchandise of base of an in the middle of the page? Um, that he should be able to sell his merchandise. If it's learning, then yes. If it's um because Kabbalah Tata, he doesn't he didn't learn that yet. He's not Tamachach. Another nafmin is if he points a shliach to go sell his his merchandise for him.
So if he's learning, he doesn't interrupt his learning. He's sitting in Yeshiva Beis Hamikdash learning. He has someone else selling his stuff. But if it's covered atayda, since it's his profits, his merchandise is still covered atayda. He should be first. These are some of the nafkaminis. So it's a very sad story. Abdimi brought uh, brought from I guess Merchant's role. He brought wherever he brought it from. He brought these dried figs to sell in bubble. So the judge says, "Rabbi, check him out. If it's hamachachim, he can sell. Otherwise, he can't sell it." Uh, go to Kankani. Go check out his barrel. Smell his wine. See if he's good. Who is he? Let's find out who he is. Not for he went out. Also, he asked the following question. If an elephant swallowed this um, basket made out of willows, and then he came out to the other end. Mao. If it's considered now dung excrement because it went through his body, so then it's to it. If it's still because the same the same shape, it retained its original state, then it's tummy. The big question exactly what the question is: Is it still the same shape or it fell apart? And um, and and this, um, if it's still the same shape, is is a Mishnah? If it fell apart, is a Gemara? Is a Gemara later on asked the same question? Is a Gemara there in the um, in Menachos and Gemara there made with Tzarechin? Doesn't answer the question, but the bottom line is, I didn't know that. If it was, if it was the question, the didn't know the answer. At least he should have gone through the shock of Italy, because the Mardi of Israel, that right, he should have done the same thing. And he didn't know the answer. Pooped this question, didn't know. Omle Marni Rava that Abdimi turned around to this Rava. He had no idea Rava was who Rava was. He said, "Are you Rava?" Top for Chleib Besandli. Either he hit him on the like, he, he took his, he hit him on the shoe with a stick, or he actually hit him on the head with his shoe. You know, symbol- symbolically. Amalei ben didi le rava ikatuvet. But to me, rava, huh, the gap is so great. Miu al kocha chano rabba. I'm your rebbe because I know something you don't know. And the rava, rabba, the rabba. And rava is my rebbe, so rava is the rebbe of your rebbe. No, it's half derechetz. Like not to lay shukah. They did not give him permission to sell his merchandise first. And they'll shut everybody else down, and he should sell first. As a result, Pasi Greg is that he lost his whole schayl. Nobody bought him. Nobody knew who he was, and nobody bought him. Exactly. Also, the Kamal Yasef, Dimi had Tainus. He went to Rabbi Yasef. He the Tamachacham. He demanded his rights. He went to Rabbi Yasef. I'm with Chazamari. I was like, look what they did to me. Now, what? Read the rest of your mother. First, Rabbi Yasef. I'm with Rabbi Yasef. Said the following: Man, the Loi Shehiyah Loi Nusa, the Malkin Dedim. That one, that's the Abishta, who did not wait for punishing those who embarrassed the king of Edom. Loi Nishayah Loi Nusa also will not delay the punishment for those who embarrassed you. The Chsiv. Because what's the matter? It says the pasuk, "Koyam Malashem." Adayim just said, "Al Shloisha Pishim Mayav." And the three Avedis Mayav did not prepare to be Mayav. On the Abba, on the fourth thing they did, Loish even I can't just walk away. Al Shirafu at some ways Melech Edom Lasi. They burnt the king. They humiliated the king of Edom. They burnt him down to ashes. They put him plaster and so on. And so therefore, that same Avedis did. <clears throat> so this Noch Nafshei the Rab Adar Bar Abba, the Rab Adar Bar Abba passed away. Now we'll soon see in a minute. A number of Amaraim, each one is going to lament the fact that maybe they were the ones who caused our Dimi. Um, the uh, um, to pass away, and uh, and therefore they need to do children. Um, you're not allowed to be, you're not allowed to say that you should punish somebody. Okay. You're not allowed to curse. So Rabbi Yisab wasn't cursing. He wasn't. So what's the how can Rabbi Yisab go along and say that you should punish? You're not allowed. You're not allowed to go and say that. So, so the Zulcheda over here, Ravada did something wrong. When do you say, Now I said the Abish should punish somebody? If you take the guy to a bezin and, and get your just reward, you know, I say, Abish, you to be and you punish him. Can't do that. It's awesome. But over here, since in a bezin, Ravada didn't do anything wrong. He was told to check him out. So, all he did was he checked him out. There was a Tavachacham. So, he taka wasn't entitled to be. So, therefore, in, in a bezin, so matter, there's nothing happened that went wrong. That's why then you're allowed to be massing in. But what's more interesting or intriguing is, why was Maya punished for embarrassing the king of Edom? He's not one of the Zion mitzvahs. You don't want to embarrass, a guy, you don't want to embarrass somebody? Is there an Issa for a guy to embarrass somebody? So, according to the Ramban that holds that Dinin, when it's the seven, one of the seven mitzvahs, but it's Dinin, it doesn't mean only strictly Dinin, but it means a much wider range of logical, of logical um, mitzvahs and Avedis, then maybe this is also included. In fact, some say that Zion mitzvahs, when well, we say the only Zion mitzvahs is what you get killed for. The Ramam says one aid and everything else, you get killed. But um, they have many more mitzvahs than that. Just basically, the Ben Adam al Chaveda mitzvahs they all have, but just they don't get killed if they don't do it. 
And the Chiddush is based on this Gemara right here. Why would Maya be punished for humiliating the king of Edom? So there's no such a Veda. Anyway, Sabiyasa said, it's my fault. I cursed him. He didn't really, he didn't curse him. He just said that this is what should happen. Maybe she should take care of it. I cursed him. Um, sorry, I said, no, I think it's my fault. I was angry that he caused me a hezek. And that's why probably he died. So it's really, in a way, I'm culpable. Abayo, Abayo says, I'm not Nishri. No, no, no. I'm the one who punished him. You know why? Because I was angry with him. You know why I was angry with him? Because the Amalek above us, that if Adam would go around and try to canvas students for Rabba, and he goes telling everybody, Adam began me to Gambi Be Abayo. Why are you going to buy his yeshiva and get his bones? Through Achul Bisr Shmein, the Be Rabba. Come to Rabba's yeshiva. Then you get the fatty meat, the smetna. You'll get the good stuff. But Rabbi Amaro said, I'm not Nishri. I'm the one who punished him. If you have also the Beit Tavcha, the so Mishkan, each one is saying, well, why would Abai is uh, upset about them taking Yeshiva students from him? Because he's upset. And he's now be upset with the Yid. That's why David should punish him. That's why David should punish Abadu that he passed away. Yeah, Abadu. Each one is talking about addressing what happened to Rabbi Abadu. Rabbi said, no, it's my fault. So whenever Rabada went to the store, the butcher shop, to buy raw meat, Amlul Tafi would say to the butchers, I know she killed the beast of Mikamish Mai Rav. Rav is the Zen Shamash, and you say, I'm more hosher than the than the Gabe of Rav. And that's why he's part Now, why you what's wrong with that? That no adif name, I'm better than him. Now, if I know a different name means I'm better than Rav, it's understood. But if I know I'm better than the than the Shamish, then the Gaba is the Shamish. Still, the shamish of Rava is a shlish on commotion. It's as if, because here you see that covered atoida is not just affecting you, but anyone that's there because of you, and they get insulted, is like, um, and they're there on a mission for you. It's like uh, you're, 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 um, you're breaching the covered atoida of the other person. See, right here. The shamish was insulted, and the Rava is the one who uh, said, but I'm not going to be my that's my fault. The head of the kala. What does kala mean? Usually, we tie to kala means head of yomtiv. They would make a shabbos for yomtiv. They talk about that loch for yomtiv. Rashi here says every shabbos you give a drasha. Chol yomim mekamid neil the kala every day. But Rav Nachman says machlegi Rashi tastes not here, but in other places. If Rav Nachman by Yitzchak is Rav Nachman that we always have in shas. Stam Rav Nachman is that Rav Nachman Yitzchak or is that Rav Nachman by Yaakov somebody else? Anyway, so Nachman, every time before he went to give a shir, Mari he would say over the sugya to Rav Adar Barabba privately, make sure that everything makes sense. So Rav Adar Barabba then, whatever it was, was a great Tamachach. Then I'm not used to feel confident, and he'd go and give the shir. Who gave was one day, Noctur Rav Papa Rav Unir Yeshua, Rav Adar Barabba, Rav Papa Rav Unir Yeshua held back Rav Adar Barabba, because you'll have a bit of human. They, Rav just made a seam on the Sechta B'chidus, and the last pedic of a Maisa Behemer, and they weren't there. They wanted to know what the Rav was Mechadish. And they asked him. Um, others say that they weren't, um, what do you call it? That they, um, they weren't, um, they weren't there, what do you call it? By the, when Rav Nachman became, they weren't aware that Rav Nachman gives a share every week and he discusses it with Rav, Rav Abba. So they weren't there by the stream of the end and end part that he always gives a share. He always goes over about it. So that's why they held it back. They thought it was just another person going to the share. What did he say? He kept on going and they kept on asking him. Meanwhile, they had delayed him. And Rav Nachman didn't start his share either. He delayed his share. He's waiting for Abba to come. I'm the Rav Nachmiyscha. Cool, get up. The Nogel is late. Let me ask him out. Why are you still sitting here? Everyone's waiting for your shit. I'm the Obviously, he, he, the Talmidim didn't know that he used to revise the shir with Rav Adam beforehand. I'm the He said, "You see, when I'm sitting, he's so angry. The commitment I'm waiting. I said, Rav Adam, I'm waiting for his coffin. Rav Adam, Rav Adam. And Noch in Nofek Kol suddenly came out. The Noch Nafshe Rav Adam, Rav Adam. He passed away. Umistabra the Nachman by Yitzchak Antre. He's the one who directly said it." Even though he didn't mean it. How many of We just learned in the last <laughs> that the Nebuch uh, had a hand in the 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 of another Amoda. It's just, just amazing. Mishnah. Me I think bragging about who did it. No, no, no. Tracer says they have to do Chuba. Who do one has to do Chuba here? Me Shahaya Kaisa, so I'm looking at him. If you're sounds like for the Mishnah there's an existing wall. Next to the wall, your friend. So your 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 neighbor had a wall. Let's say you had a wall, and there was a gap between the two walls that people would walk and use the shortcut. They would walk between the two walls. So if your wall collapsed, you want to build another wall. Don't build it any closer. You got to give it four hours gap so that people can walk through. 
and number one, number two, we were here before, that um, if the other person has windows open to the to the to the chutz of your chutz, and the guy has it for three years already, so he has a chazaka. Big machlek is a shiny behind the fural of whether he has to be with a tiny or a tiny because taste is there in other hold you have to have a tiny. Three years, he still have a chazaka a tiny that you gave me the right, he bought it, he sold it to me. <laughs> There's actually three shit that's in a shiny. Some say, okay, actually, we'll talk about it later. Well, Bob, uh, sorry, if you want to build a wall, the wall should be either much higher than that window, so you can't be really looking to the house, or it should be much lower, so if you stand on top of your wall, you cannot see into the house. And they be connected, or against it, they shouldn't take away your sunlight. This is a four amas. It sounds like there's a wall, and then it fell down. So if it can't make you something, you tell me I should bring close to four amas. The first wall was close to four amas, and now don't build it again. How, how did you build the first wall within four amas? This is what we say. If, if you're building a wall for the first time, if you want to build a wall for the first time, four armors away. So when it says Kaisel means the boundary of your wall. It doesn't mean you had a wall already. It means you had a boundary where you could build your wall. Don't build it any closer than four armors because you're going to take away its first wall. If your wall was close to the wall, it means you already had a wall. What do you mean it's brilliant for the first time? It stuck out a wall, but it stuck kept four arms distance, but never fell down. You shouldn't build another wall. You still need a distance gap of four arms. My timer. Why, Taka? The Dovshe, the Hocha, my little Hossam. What happens is when people are walking, you know, the soil is, is soft and you need to the soil, the soil become firm to hold the wall in place. But when a lot of people, most of the people are walking on that soil, it hardens it. It, it. it compresses the soil and hardens it. So since you're building a new wall, you need people to harden the soil. That's why you need, if, you, if the gap is very narrow, people are not going to walk there. So you need to leave a gap of four hours so people can walk comfortably there and they will uh, compress your soil and, and, and solidify it. <clears throat> And, it's not for the people walking through, it's for the neighbor. It's for you as well, because if you will collapse. It's, uh, yeah. so, it's, it's, it doesn't matter who cares if, if you might fall down. Sense. Yeah, it might fall down, exactly. So you need you need the soil to become firm. So you have to have a gap of four amas. Well, soon see, it's seen in a minute, not everywhere. We're talking about, and with free neighbor as well, you need to press down his wall. We're talking about the neighbor's wall. <laughs> um. Or you're talking about a wall that's for, for a garden. So in the garden, on the bed, in the garden bed, you hardly walk there. You, you hardly, even in, in the inside, also hardly walk there because you're going to ruin your your, your, veg, uh, your vegetation. So therefore, you need people on the outside to walk there. But if it's a wall of a chatzah, in ba, least my time, with a wall of a chatzah, you can walk as much as you want. Uh, you don't have to have four amas because people inside are walking around and, and, and compressing the dirt, firming the, the, the soil so it's, like, it's going to stand Erect. Says the Gemara, Rabbi Shem Rosh says, Echad Kaisel Gina, Echad Kaisel Chatzel. I don't care what kind of Kaisel is, you need the multitude of people to to walk there to come to firm up the soil. Yiba Lisbech Ene says, Don't go too close. Om Rabbi Shem Hanina will like to leave. In fact, there's no argument. Ha be Yishan, ha be Chadosha. If it's a new city that nobody yet walked in, there were no walls there yet. Then even a kaisel chatzah still needs a bunch of people to firm it up. But if it's an old city, then you no longer need, really need it to warm up, uh, just to firm the soil. It's pretty for people walking there all the time. Just on your side of the wall, so it's a kaisel chatzah. So when is there a difference of a kaisel gin or a kaisel chatzah only by an old city? But if it's a new city, then even a kaisel chatzah, you're walking there, you're not that many people, but one or two families living there. So you need the people on the outside to walk in, so you need to leave a gap of four amas. What's considered new and old? Interesting, they're showing them. I claim to show whether it's 50 years or 60 years. We're not talking about, you know, a few years old. Yeah. So the other, um, like the Bible's dream, they says, you know, we're a young city. We're only 49 years. <clears throat> so maybe that's, maybe that's where the shame gets 50 years. I love a little bit of ice and mill a mile. Why above? Should you raise it more than four amas, the height? Should you raise it more than four amas, the height? From his window, from the neighbor's window, you shouldn't look inside, shouldn't peer. 
the year and see what's going on and you know invade their privacy. Miller Matan, the wall <laughs> ends up ends below the window. You should be at least four amas below the window. So you shouldn't stand on top of the wall and look inside. And why opposite do you need uh, four amas? You shouldn't take away their sunlight because they have a chazak already. That window has been there for three years. <clears throat> um, now, what would be would be no windows there? Then you can build as close as you want. No. It seems to me that there's no windows. The only reason why you have to distance four amas from that person's wall is because of the window, the you know the the, the, the sunlight. But it wouldn't be for that reason. Let's say there's no window there or no chazaka there. You can bring it all the way up. You no, know, you just said a mice with dafshul. People have to walk. Says the Gemara, how can my skin? But bomb in outside. Here we're talking about you know till now we're talking about the parallel walls. Parallel walls, if you bring it less than four hours, nobody's going to walk there. It's a long distance. But if it's perpendicular, so then, okay, the wall, the thickness of the wall, well, three, four, twelve, is closer. But then everyone else, but everyone else, it's, it's plenty of room. So people are prepared to put up with, a, you know, one little spot that's narrow. So you'll continue having that foot traffic. So that's just not an issue. The issue is only that you're blocking, poof, you blocked block his window. Remember, a window has to be only one tefah by one tefah. So, you know, a small, narrow window, the wall will block it completely. The Kama and 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 how far? Amar Abba Chumba, Amar Abba Yehuda Chamu the Ashin, Abba Yehuda the father of Ashin, Bar Nidvach the son of the Nidvach of the wall, Mashmei the Rav, Kimlay Reichem Chalay, the width of the wall, the width of the window. Remember, you're talking about blocking the the, the things. We're talking about that's how distant you should be from the wall. Baloi Meitzis, but you can look inside. Lachayda, if you're going to be so close to the window, why do we where you can look inside? Um, Rabbi Zvid, the madid as koisle, the with the walls on a slope, so therefore you cannot really stand there. But we learned elsewhere that it has to be four in mission, it says four amas for the wall. So you more like kash, kan meruach achas, and uh, and here we're talking about on one side kamish teruchas. If you're only building a perpendicular wall, there is one thing that has to be you know one tefach. The mission is talking about you're building even perpendicular two walls, um, you're building two walls. So if you're building um, two walls, then uh, it, you, know, you can always enclose that. So therefore, you have to have a gap to let people walk through, which is people can retain it as a as a walkway. <clears throat> if you build two walls on both sides of the window, if you build two walls on both sides of the window, you can be blocked. If it's only a tefach away, you're going to be blocking the sunlight because you have two walls and the if, if you have only have one wall in the window so then only a certain time of the day you know the the sunlight being blocked so you keep it tough that's it but if it's two walls of the size of both sides of the window it's not going to be sunshine exactly because the morning here and the night and the afternoon here and the north side, so it, so then they have to have four hours so the um um what's my coming here it says that it says that a brayse was a koisol min hamaschila dalad amis. If this person, your neighbor, has a roof, and then he has these, um, you know, stone, stone pipes that come up, that are around the roof, but they uh, extend from the roof a little bit further, so that they hang below the roof and they and the water drips down. So it says that you should distance yourself from the maschila four amis. Why four amis? Kidesh ezayki was a solom. That person has to clean out the the the, the drain pipes or the stormwater pipes because leaves fall inside and pebbles and all that. So therefore, he has to be able to put a ladder against his wall and a ladder he has to put on an angle. So therefore, we give him four amis. So it sounds like time. But the only reason why we give the distance four amis is mishum sulum because of the ladder. Abu mishum daf shaloi. But if we but about the ground itself, we want people to be able to walk comfortably. That's not an issue. Because if the, if the ground, if, if the reason you say you have to distance the wall because of dash of the people who walk and press it down, who cares about a ladder? What's the relevancy of the ladder or anything else? So you have to be four hours away from the wall. We're talking about here where the water pipe sticks out another few trucks from the house. So if it's dafsha, then it's four amas from the wall of the house. But if it's because of um, of the ladder, then it has to be four amas from where the water pipes end. Where the stormwater pipe ends, and that's what he's saying here. If it would be only adoption, then you look at the wall of the house and you keep four amas away because people can walk under the roof. If especially it's not the roof, it's only a pipe, a little pipe hanging out. People can walk right underneath it. So then, if you count, the, if it's only dafshin, you count the four amas from the wall of the house. The Bryce is telling you that if there's a stormwater pipe that's extending, let's say another three trucks from the house, then you should start count calculating your four amas from that because he has to put a ladder there to be able to get to the. Pebbles and the sand and everything else.
the e mishum dafshu hakazul also to the thing walk right underneath. Said the Mishnah, Marchikin is at Chul. We're talking about all these rules that neighbors, how they have to behave, comport themselves. Big Machlik is a shining. If you didn't follow the rule, we had a, we had a Machlik in Mishnah regarding another. If you follow the rules and then you still cause damage, whether you have to pay a shim and say, oh, why you have rules to be putted? And Zanagama said, no, but even though you follow the rule, but if you cause damage, you cause damage. What about the other way around? You did not follow the rules. As we tell you, Machikin, 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 and you didn't follow the rule. Do you have to pay for the damage, or are you merely like a grama and you're a pot? Big machik is shining, but we'll talk a little bit about grama in the Gemara here. Said the Mishnah, machik in a sasulim in a shaybet. You have to distance the ladder from a shaybet, from a chicken coop, or a dovecot, arba amas. You need to keep the ladder four amas away from there. Why? Kadesh like tikpat, hanamiya. There's a certain little uh, amble. It's a kind of a weasel, but they say it's like a marchin or something, a little very agile that can jump. And if you're gonna have the ladder very close, it's gonna quickly run on the ladder and jump into the into the chicken coop and steal and eat the chicken or steal it. Um so therefore keep the distance because you're growing. There's a koisel minhamaschila, which we just learned. So, sorry, we just said we said for the price, there's a mission right here. And the wall from the water pipe, Dal Dami, they say it's so maybe it, it put up a ladder. Let us say that our mission does not follow Rabbi Yaisi. Remember, Rabbi Yaisi says that you can plant, plant a tree in your thing, even though ultimately the roots are going to ruin the other guy's boy in the next door. It's not You're not high because you're not causing any damage right now. And over time, so therefore, it's an easy responsibility. Chachamah says, no, it's your fault. So he says, our mission does not follow Rabbi Yaisi. Why? As long as I'm doing whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it within my rights and my property, on my side. You're doing on your side. And you're planting your side, too bad. So here also, if I place a ladder, you know, if I place a ladder where I'm allowed to, then it doesn't matter that if this according to Biasi, sort of this animal jumps in because of that. It's his problem. I'm I'm doing I'm working on my side of the property. So the Gemara, um, <clears throat> uh, I feel the table of Biasi. I can say to Biasi, if you remember how much of Ashi, he had been a bit of Kana, but when he shivered of Kana. How the Omar, he would say, Moide Rabbi Yaisi be Gide the day. Rabbi Yaisi will be Moide by his Gide, his energy. Hachanami Zimnin, Gide, if, you, if, it, if, if it's your Gide, your arrows. Hachanami too. Zimnin, sometimes the Bahadi the Monarchy, while you're putting the ladder down, Yasser Bechur, the Kavtsa. This animal, this Martin or this weasel, is right next to it and jumps right onto the ladder and jumps right into the chink while you're putting it up. And that's considered like, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Like Gita did today. For the Marba Hagramu, Sachako, all you're doing is your causation. You didn't damage the birds. Of course, you, the ladder, you enabled this uh, weasel to jump in. Even if you don't have to pay by good by the Zigma Gramma, but it's still, on, the Easter is still involved. So there's two things about damage one is the, the compensation. And one is the the money, the Isa. Now, I told you last time, when we started in the Sechta, the Machlik is Hezegri, what the basis is. The Rishenim are actually right here. The Rameh says, interesting, there's an Isa in causing some of the damage. And what's the basis of that Isa? Where's the Teresh in Albi Mazik? The Teresh in Albi Mazik, you got to pay. Where does the Teresh in Albi Mazik? The Rameh writes over here, the Rameh says two possibilities. I told you there, one of them. The other one is, Lifna Iva Lasit Mikshim. It's a little bit branching out, but the thing is, the Turish Chonor writes, and that's uh, and, and, and that's also the big machlek is a shiny of the Isis Medrabon and the Isis Mahatayda. For example, building a boy in a Shusrabi, you got to pay for anything else. Taylor said, You got to pay. Did you do an Avera? You made a hezek. You put so, according to some, it's an Isa the Raisa. With the evil city Michel, you cause people to get hurt to yourself. No, you like, put a boy, you build a boy in the Shusarabi, and people now fall in. So the trade says you got to pay, right? But um, did you do an Aveira? An Isa? The Gemara says right here that Grama ben is awesome. So, so some say it's only Isa the Rabbanon, because you cause people to get hurt. Others say, no, it's Lif Naive, Mahat Trade, it's Mahat Trade, it's Drocher Dachinayim, it's So according to um, some, the Easter of placing a boy in Shuzrab, Mr. Hakni Sarabonan, according to others, an Easter the Araisa. Very, actually, we'll talk tomorrow a little bit more about this Gita today. What exactly does that mean? Okay, have a good day. We'll continue.